My name is Olivia Stone and I was born with my hands fused very short with two fingers on each hand. Growing up with a limb difference has been pretty hard because you just get so many stares and you get so many questions. And that's really hard as a teen when you're going through puberty and growing up and wanting to fit in. I've had trouble with sports like basketball, field hockey, and they just weren't really for me because I had to use my hands a lot. I fell far behind. Last summer, I went to a CAF clinic with Rob Machado, and I got to surf with him. I got up my second wave. It just came so naturally, and I just fell in love with it. You feel the whole force of the ocean pushing you towards the shore. It's the best. I realized that this is what I want to do. When we got back from the clinic, she lit up just for days. And me as a parent, that is what it's all about. I live in Pennsylvania, and the closest beach is two and a half hours away. CAF found a coach for her. She started surfing on the weekends. I got a DM from Danny Burt. I'm an above knee amputee, a doctor of physical therapy, and a world adaptive surfing champion. I was asked to be the co-captain for Team USA, and one of the positions we were missing was the adaptive standing one in the women's division, and I automatically thought of Liv. I got asked by Danny and the coaches on Team USA to go and compete at the world championship. It's the largest international surfing competition in the world, and it's happening right now in La Jolla. I was like, heck yeah, I will. But I was always pushed into a wave by someone, a mentor or a coach. A couple days before the competition, Sean Brody was like, Liv, you can't have anyone in the water with you. You're going to have to do this 100% independently. I would describe Liv as unstoppable. She's got the positivity and the state of mind that's not going to let anything slow her down. Both her arms are shorter, so to watch her surf is the craziest thing ever. I'm completely impressed because it's all her core and her legs. So I had a training session with Sean. I got up on my first wave 100% by myself. It was the best feeling to be totally independent like knowing that I can do this. USA, USA. And the gold medal winner is Team USA. Woo! Team USA actually won gold. To have a gold medal be placed over your head, under your shoulders is a moment I'll never forget. She just was like, let's move to California. My husband and I are like, are like uh, no, that's not going to happen. And she just kept talking and talking about it. If you have a sport or a hobby or something that really gives you that feeling, it's like, how can you not support that? This is our condo we're staying in. This is my home for the next couple months. The Challenge Athletes Foundation and myself personally believe that sports makes people whole. It gives you a place of belonging, it, it gives you a community, and she's found her community. She's found people that have come and supported her and built her up and that want to see her succeed. I can't describe it, but I feel like she's finally at home and around people who accept her as she is. I think it's great to see her, her drive and determination. Hey, what if someday I surf in the Paralympics? You know, that was pretty cool. You know, so to hear. <laughs> Sorry. To hear her talk about that kind of passion, that was pretty cool for a dad to see. My overall goal, which is maybe far-fetched, but I want to be on the world tour for surfing. Like, I want to make it to the professional level and be the best.